update 5 for Forza Motorsport is here. It has the new track, the Nürburgring, it has 10 new cars and a bunch of other goodies as well. We're going to talk about the whole update right now. Hot lap the Nordschleife in Forza Motorsport update 5. Bring your favourite car to the Nürburgring and put them to the ultimate time attack test. The epic 20.8 km track comes to Forza Motorsport in update 5 free to all players. Now the update is out if you're watching this right now. However, some of the rivals and some of the sort of the cars aren't available until Thursday. Now game fixes. Now there's only a short amount of game fixes here, but these are the ones that they've definitely noted. There is a ton of fixes and changes in this update, but these are the only seven that they have told us about in this blog. In my next Forza Motorsport related video, we'll go through every single thing that was fixed within Update 5. But so far, it's only these that they've noted. New track. Obviously, we know that that's coming. I'll let you read all of the general blurb describing what the track is like. I'm sure we all know what the Nürburgring's like. The production car lap record is held by the Mercedes AMG 1. The overall lap record is held by the Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo. The Porsche 919 Hybrid is in the game. I don't think it's the Evo kind of spec out version. It'd be interesting to see how close we can get to the 5 minute 19 second time of the hybrid Evo though. So the new cars, there are 4 new cars in the spotlight or the new showroom. You can acquire these with a 30% discount using in-game credits and obviously they are only available per week. So for the first week we have the BMW M2 from 2023, the second week the 2013 Audi RS7 Sportback, the third week the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG from 2011, and the fourth week, the Porsche 911 Turbo S from 2014. Those are available in consecutive weeks. And these cars can also be used in the new Ringer Tour, as well as the Spotlight Series events in multiplayer rivals and featured multiplayer. Now, if you are a VIP member, you will also get an exclusive 15% discount on the 2010 BMW M3 GTS in the showroom for a limited time. Car Pass, which has four more new cars. Again, available in consecutive weeks. The first week, we have the 1965 Lotus Team Lotus Type 35. The second week, the 2015 Cadillac Racing ATS VR number no. 3. The third week, we've got the 2018 Ford number no. 98 Breathless Pro Racing TA Mustang. And the fourth week, the 2020 Audi TT RS Coupe. Now, we kind of have a little bit of idea of what car pass cars we can expect because of the leaks that we found a few weeks ago. We will touch more on that towards the end as it might have changed a bit. New Korea Tour, Ringer Tour, seems to be heavily focused on German manufacturers. So BMW, Audi, Mercedes and Porsche. You can see the details on screen right now, what spotlight cars they use. Now, there is another new car within the Korea Tour and it is the 2022 Porsche. Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS. If you complete all four of these series, you will unlock that car, an ideal container for the Nürburgring Nordschleife. So it's a very German update, as you can tell. The new open tour is called German Automotive, as you would expect. Now, again, if you complete all four series before March the 14th, you will get the next new car, the 1974 Porsche number no. one 911 RSR. That's the 10th new car of this update, I believe, and I think that is all of them. 10 new cars in this update, not too bad. Considering other than the car pass cars, they are all free. Featured multiplayer, spec and open series. Here is the calendar for the upcoming events for update 5 from February the 15th all the way to March 14th. So we can presume that update 6 will be somewhere around March 14th, around there. Again, all of the necessary details about the series, the rivals, everything should be on screen right now. As far as I can see, there are no new cars or anything within these multiplayer features. Featured rivals, as always. There is a rivals event on the new track on the in the 1979 BMW Motorsport M1 Pro car. There is a VIP rivals event. There is the Logitech rivals event and then one rivals event for each of the new spotlight cars. That seems to be how it works every update. Four for each car, a VIP one and the featured track. Again, a reminder about the ongoing Logitech McLaren G challenge. It's in its final stage now. If you enter it, you will earn a special in-game driver suit rewarded for your participation. So get on that. And there are a bunch of other VIP prizes and stuff like that to win if you go to that Discord link on screen. Race you to the ring. Forza Motorsport Update 5 is available today on all platforms. Download today and start hot lapping the Nordschleife ahead of the new events beginning Thursday. So it's out right now. 
let's go play it. That is everything with an update five. As we said at the beginning, there are a lot more bugs and fixes. If you remember in my previous couple of videos about Forza Motorsport, we showed the huge list of planned fixes they had for this and the next update. There was a lot of them. Now the chances are that I would say the majority of these have been implemented in this update. They've just not told us quite yet. You'll have to check the change log for that, which is probably available by the time you're watching this video. So there are a lot more things fixed in this update than we showed at the beginning of the video. Now, the car pass. We like to talk about the car pass as we had a huge leak a few months ago, basically leaking every single car that's coming in the car pass. This is the list right here, and these were the dates that we sort of guessed and approximated. These four cars here were supposedly going to be the four cars within this update. The Cadillac, the Ford, the Audi, and the McMurtry. What's interesting is this list is still kind of accurate, but it's kind of skewed by one. The Cadillac, the Ford, and the Audi all turned out to be correct. I think the dates are wrong, but all of them three are coming within this update. However, the Lotus from February the 8th has been moved to this update. So I think there's only four cars left on this list that we have yet to receive. We have the McMurtry Spearling, the Toyota 86 TRD SE, the Lexus and the Lotus Team Lotus 98T. I believe those four cars are the only ones left. We had the Cadillac at the bottom in update three, I think, or update four. The Lotus came in this update, so there's only four cars left within this whole leak, which means that we can go to the leaked car list and update it. Four cars have now been added. There's four left. What are the chances of them four cars being in update six? Pretty likely. Now, talking about update six, we did, we did get the unfortunate news within this blog post that update six will not contain a new track. Update seven will, but update six will, no, won't. We know that the long anticipated car progression changes are coming with an update six. And if we get the McMurtry, if that's how you pronounce it in update six as well, that'll be great because that's an insane car. So update six, while it may not have a new track, it's still got some, still got quite a lot of things to be excited about. And then before you know it, will be an update seven, which also has a new track. What will that be? have a guess there are a lot of tracks that are still not in the game which is good i suppose we would have liked them to be in the game at launch but we you know we're still missing sabring monza prague bathurst road atlanta brands hatch long beach imola the top gear test track there are a lot of tracks that we're still missing and we can presume that we are getting them all at some point and as always at the bottom of the blog post they urge you to give your feedback on future cars tracks and features on the suggestions hub again go ahead and use the suggestions hub on the forza forums and the troubleshooting hub as well it's all very important as i always always keep reminding you all that is the full update five guys i hope you've enjoyed leave a like if you have and i'll see you all later